They're giving to support the, the, the tribe of Levites, the, the spiritual leaders of the day. They were giving to support their ministry, to support temple ministry. And it, the heart behind it was to, to say thank you to God, to, to support that, that work, but ultimately to, to, to say thank you, thank you, God, that you've provided for us a centralized way that we can, that, we, that our nation and our people can worship you and can be taught your word and that we can, can make these sacrifices where we can get close to you, we can be forgiven of our sin, we can be cleansed. So that, that was the heart behind that, uh, that tithe. Now, if you think about it, we don't have a temple today that we're funding. We don't have a, a, a tribe of Levites that we're funding today, but we have to ask ourselves, what do we have? What has Jesus given us? And this is the, the dance you do between Old Testament and New Testament where you're trying to discern these things. Jesus came, and what did he say? He says, he came to establish his church. So he says, you know, I will build my church and the gates of hell will not prevail against it. Jesus came to institute a new type of kingdom, an international family. Now, now, now the church is one part of God's broad, bigger kingdom. God's kingdom is the rule and reign of God in the earth. And the church is one component of that, one part of that. But Jesus has called us into his church to, that through his church, the, the gospel might be proclaimed, that through his church, the disciples might be made, that through his church, that the nations might be reached, that through his church, even that we would care for the poor and needy in different ways as well. And that can happen outside of that, uh, as well as inside of that. And so we see, we see that the, the best fulfillment of this first tithe that the people had is to direct that towards church ministry, to direct it towards church ministry. Now, it talks about tithes and contributions. Tithes and contributions. And tithe is a tenth. So the first part of our income goes to that. The contribution is beyond the tenth. So these, these contributions are not a set amount. We talked about this last week. A tithe is that set amount. A contribution is a voluntary gift. Um, if, you, if you think about it, it's, it's, the tithe is not optional. Actually, Proverbs 3, verse 9, because the tithe is directly commanded. So Proverbs 3, verse 9, it says, Honor the Lord with your wealth and with the first fruits of your produce. It's a command given. We read in Leviticus, reading in Proverbs. It's not voluntary. It's something that is commanded of us to do. But with contributions, tithes and contributions, contributions are free. what's called a free will offering. And, and you, even, you even see this, I think it's Leviticus 22, 18, even it talks about, even together, it talks about the tithes and the contributions. So that th these two types of offerings are to happen consistently in the life of a believer. So one is commanded directly, one's a strict, more strict, more deliberate step. The other one, the, the, the contributions are more spirit led. And so God taught his people from the very beginning, even in ancient Israel, he taught them how to be led by his spirit that it's not just rules and obligations and just do this and don't do that. Having, a, having an opportunity to have a free will offering, a contribution, gives us, gives God's people the chance of saying, what does God want me to do? What's God calling me to do in this moment, in this particular contribution? This is above and beyond. So when you like and subscribe, this video reaches more people.